Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hermitcraft. Last time we worked on this giant pyramid you see in front of me. And yeah, this is just one quadrant of this thing completed. So yeah, it's a pretty large pyramid. And it produces quite a number of optical illusions at times. But um, yeah, it's looking pretty good so far, I think. And yeah, with this pyramid started, I think uh, we might as well continue it. You know, we might as well actually build the thing. So I think we're going to be working in this quadrant here today. Looks like the mountains are still currently standing. So the boomers have not yet blown those up. But hopefully soon we'll see these leveled. And yeah, that way we'll have a little bit more of a... Uh, a flatter surface all the way around this thing. I probably have to take down that bit here as well with this terracotta. So we'll probably do that sometime soon as well. In the meantime, though, we got to get in here because there is a new map, uh, which I wanted to show you guys last time, but we ran out of time. Uh, so on April 16th, we made a map. Uh, and actually, I don't think this has changed now that it's the 17th today. Uh, but yeah, this is what it's looking like. So we got a couple things that have happened since the, the last time. First of all, obviously, this quadrant changed pretty dramatically you know we actually built the pyramid in that quadrant um and we'll be working in this one today but we also had scar fall from grace right here he ran into the side of the pyramid despite it only being one block wide and then fell and died right there and then we of course had demo 00100 uh who was explodificated in the uh demonstration of the boomers competence in tnt management so <laughs> yeah there we go that is the two events that happened here during uh, these two map uh, map changes, map updates, I guess. Um, and we'll have another one here on the 19th and then on the 22nd. And then if we have to go beyond that, I'm not sure what we'll do. Maybe we'll go to the second level if we have to go beyond that. So, yeah, that is what we got right here. Uh, currently, for the Great Pyramid, uh, we're keeping the ledger. Uh, we are currently uh, at minus 283 diamonds in total investment. So we've lost 283 diamonds building this. Uh, and you see... The most recent uh, purchase was coal blocks from Hypno for smelting. Uh, we also bought some stuff, uh, some coal blocks from Joe Hills as well. And we need that stuff because while I was over here, we actually ran out of fuel in the smelter, as you can see. So, <laughs> yeah, some blocks just sitting in there. But luckily, we got a whole bunch of coal blocks and we're going to load these into the barrel. See, it's unloading via the hopper minecart underneath super, super quickly. And then once that's done, we should be able to turn this on. We also want to get some more sandstone because we're going to continue to smelt this smooth sandstone up as much as we can. I think we're... That, that amount of coal we just put in there, I think that will take us almost all the way to the end. I'm pretty sure. So let's just quickly get out another shulker box that's not totally full. I think we got some more in here. Because we purchased quite a few recently, specifically for this project. There we go. Get this one out. We'll load up some sandstone. Right here. There we go. Should be enough to fill up this box. There we go. And we're one stack short. There we go. Okay. Pick both these up. Head back in. And then flick the lever, and this should hopefully sustain sustain us for some time, this coal supply we put in here today. There we go. And this one. Alright, so, everything's in. Turn it on. Alright, our smelter is now rolling once again. You can see plenty of sandstone and blocks of coal, which should last us quite some time in here now. So, that's fantastic to see. And while that is now going, we can head on out to the pyramid, place down some sandstone stairs, because of course we have still a ton of sandstone stairs to place. I'm just going to slide on in right here and start to place some just like so, down like this, one after the other. And so while I'm doing this, while I'm working on the pyramid, uh, I want to show you guys a little bit of the footage of us going out to XB's Apocalyptic uh, Hermit Hollows area and participating in an apocalyptic build contest. Now, if you guys recall, we signed up for this about two or three weeks ago. And yeah, now the results have come in. So yeah, I can show you guys the footage of us building our apocalyptic house out at XB's Hermit Hollows. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, so we're on the long, long journey to XP Crafted's base. Is this it right here? This is the mining desert slash mesa. XP is even further than this. Okay, so he is way out here. <laughs> Let's try and make our way out here, and yeah, hopefully we can uh, make it there and make this apocalyptic house. All right, so we made it to XB's house. Very good. He has a couple cats around here. Hermit Hollow is this way. That's what we need. That's for XB. So Hermit Hollows. Here it is. Hermit Hollows. Yep, this is it. Sweet. Okay, very nice. Very nice. All right, somebody's already built something here out of diorite, it looks like. Polished diorite and andesite. Very cool, very cool. Okay, so I guess... We pick a plot here, and then just start building. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with a house. I'm going to go, I think, with a house right here. So I'm going to put some stuff down here. I got some blocks on me, as you can see. Need to probably go back and get some more blocks. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to sit my dog down over here, if I can, on the plot. There we go. Sit down right there. All right, cool. He'll reserve my spot, and yeah. We'll get some building materials and start to build this house. Well, I got a little bit carried away, and we actually finished the entire build. So, yeah, this is our house here that's been through the apocalypse, basically. So, yeah, some things about it are still standing and still very good. Other things are not. Uh, like, for instance, the roof. As you can see, you can see into the roof itself, and there's some scaffolding in there and stuff like that. So... Yeah, I basically tried to make it run down, but yeah, I wanted the main structure to sort of be still intact as if, you know, it's been damaged and, you know, rocks have been thrown through the windows and stuff. So you can see that this window is broken out and stuff like that. So let me just take you around the whole thing here. So in the front, you know, some people have been hanging out in the front here, you know, with the campfire and the furnace here. Uh, and they've been, you know, basically just like squatting on the land. Uh, they also have a little bit of like a uh, potato farm here. At least that's sort of what I'm going for. Uh, so in this apocalypse, this house is still being occupied by some people on occasion that come through here, that pass through here. Uh, but yeah, once we get into like this porch area, you can see, yeah, there's some things that are missing. There's like some trap doors that are missing from this thing. There's vines growing through the holes in the uh, the roof here of the porch. So that's not good. Obviously, the, bo the door has been broken down from the inside. Uh, and then this door in here has also been broken down. Uh, from the back, so it looks like, you know, they might have, maybe like a zombie horde came through this, uh, what is supposed to be like chain link fence here from a couple sides, and then busted down the door, you know, slayed whoever was inside, and then busted out the front. That's sort of what I'm going for here. Obviously, you know, foliage in here coming from the, uh, the roof, and, yeah, on the ground, so, yeah, pretty run down, you know, the chests have cobwebs in them, all the barrels have cobwebs in them. Even some of the blast furnaces have cobwebs in them. So that's pretty cool. We got some dead plants, of course, because the plants died due to lack of water. TV here, obviously, is off. You can see, yeah, the windows were boarded up, but, yeah, they have still broke anyway. Part of the floor from above is collapsing down, and obviously plants are growing through. Um, yeah, some of the stuff here has been, like, rustled around. So, like, these, these, these uh, wall-mounted heads, these have been, like, all disturbed and such. Second floor, you know, we got plants coming from the ceiling. Um, yeah, we got some paintings here. We got more foliage coming from the roof. Um, yeah, we got dead plants here as well. Got a bed here and more, more foliage and, of course, cobwebs throughout the uh, the build because, yeah, it's been, been a little bit of time here. Obviously, on the outside here in this balcony, you know, more cobwebs, some overgrown stuff here as well. And this door was boarded up, but... Uh, yeah, it didn't save whoever was inside. And luckily, somebody who was in here actually left a record. Check this out. Check this out. The hordes are approaching quickly now. I don't have much time. The town was overrun, and I tried everything. Potions, fireballs, even TNT. But alas, it was no use. They're at the door now. It won't hold much longer. The horde is hungry, and it's me they are after. If anyone finds this, I hope it finds you well. Tell my wife I love her. I wish you the best, brave adventurer. May you have better fortunes than I. Steve. So there's like a testimonial of Steve's last moments while he was in this house. That's it. that's who was here. That's who was here. Barricaded himself in here, but yeah, couldn't hold him. Couldn't hold him. Windows are broken here, obviously. Yeah, it's pretty pretty bad stuff. Pretty bad stuff. So yeah, that's that. And I tried to put in as many details as I could, like the uh, the pool here. 
the pool has the water level that's been, you know, it's been, uh, it's, it's down one level essentially from where it, uh, where it typically is, which is like, even with this. So yeah, that's sort of been like the water has evaporated out over time. So yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Um, you know, obviously like this cauldron has collected some rain and stuff. So that's what that's supposed to be. So I tried to put in a couple of unique details and of course, obviously the lawn is overgrown and such because nobody's maintaining it. Uh, and some of the pathway has been sort of degraded a little bit, uh, over the course of time because again, nobody's maintaining that. So that is the entirety of the build there, guys. Hopefully we can win those 10 diamond blocks. That would be great. Um, but yeah, that is the entirety of our apocalyptic build. Pretty cool build, I think. A lot of nice details, and yeah, a pretty cool, like, rundown house. My favorite detail here is the door that's been, like, broken in. It's pretty cool, but yeah. Anyways, that is that, and hopefully we, uh, we see where we come in at soon. Uh, and of course, yeah, we do have, like, some holes and stuff in the roof, which itself is, like, supported by, uh, by scaffolding up here. So we did fill that in as well, so... Yeah, hopefully that wins, but we will have to see. I believe this is XB's build, so I think we have uh, a few more days left in this contest. So we should see the other hermits come out here and build shortly. But for now, we're going to take our dog, who's been overseeing this operation, and we're going to head on back to our base. So it was a good time out there at Hermit Hollows, and in the meantime, I have gotten the second quadrant completed. So take a look at this pyramid here. It almost looks like a wall. A little bit uh, but if we just fly on over here you can see second quadrant is now completed so yeah that is half of the pyramid complete at this point which is pretty nice pretty nice so of course we still have the whole back half here to complete but yeah this whole section here is now done it's almost become like hard to look at the inside of this um, yeah if I look up like this yeah, it's look it starts to like you get all these like little weird like distortion patterns in here, which is cool and also kind of bizarre. But yeah, that's what it's looking like right now. So half the pyramid now constructed. Uh, so yeah, looking pretty good. And I think we will now continue on trying to get the other quadrants done. I will probably do this on a stream uh, at twitch.tv slash cupfan135. So if you guys want to catch me building this pyramid and other things throughout the... Uh, rest of the season feel free to follow me on there but uh, yeah let's keep going with these other quadrants So a lot of work going into this pyramid at the moment, and yeah, we are making some progress here getting this thing completed. 
So right now, if we fly around, you will see we actually have this pyramid pretty much like 90% done. We just got a very small section at the top in the fourth quadrant to, uh, to complete. So that's absolutely awesome. Um, and so I think what I want to try and do is I'm going to try and get this thing done. So I'm going to keep on putting down stairs here. Not like that, though. Like this, the proper way. There we go. Um, so I'll do this, and while I'm doing this and finishing up this thing, I want to jump into some footage of myself and XB, because XB actually had some good news for us out at Herman Hollow. So we're going to jump to that footage right now. XB, hello, my friend. How are you? What's up, Cub fan? How you doing? I'm doing well, man. How are you? I'm, I'm good. And you're about to be a little bit better, aren't you? I think so. I think so, man. I, I, I was called over here. You said you might have some, uh, some good news to tell me about this build. Uh, well, so I don't know if you know this, right? But you built this house. I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, it was a great, um, it was a great time building this house. Uh, I actually got a little bit carried away and like just completed it all in, in a day or two. It turned so. out awesome, man. Like it was, it was great. Um, and I ran a poll. It was a super secret poll. You know, a lot of people get, I don't think anyone actually guessed that you built this one. Oh yeah. Sneaky. I think, Sneaky. I think people guessed you built this one and then the one back there. Oh yeah. I'm guessing this was Cleo because of the armor stance. That's yeah, why it was Cleo. Okay. Yes, okay. It was nice. you, Cleo, beef, and then Joe Hill's back there. Ah, uh, beef built a taco stand. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> the convenient taco store. <laughs> convenient. Yeah. The convenience store, taco <laughs> store. Yeah. Combination. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's not much, but. Oh, the winnings. That is, that is all yours. Oh man. Joe that's nice. Joe swore off diamonds. So that's why. He... Oh, he swore off diamonds. Ah, I got gotcha. I, I already slept. What happened? See, what I didn't tell you is this is actually also a haunted house. It doubles as a haunted house. <laughs> oh, another after me. Oh man. <laughs> I should, uh. To sleep. I'm going to try and Let go. In. I got to go into the deserted house. I got it. I got it. This should be. Okay. Whew. Made it. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to walk through and just, you know, like get your thoughts on. Like, did you just do stuff randomly or did you have like an idea? I knew I wanted to make a house that was, had sort of like been like almost, there was like a zombie invasion. So my thought was I wanted to tell a story that the zombies broke through like a fence in the back. That's why there's some holes in the, in this, uh, supposed, you know, chain link fence here. Mm -hmm. And then they broke down the door here. And then they went through and like, they ransacked the place and, you know, slayed whoever was inside here. Right. right. And then Which they, Steve, Steve, exactly. They took out <laughs> Steve, poor Steve. Barely knew He's him. always dying from one thing or another. <laughs> yeah, and then we t he, they busted out the front and continued, you know, the horde and then they went kept across going. Street to Cleo's and... <laughs> exactly, yep. Exactly. Nah, dude, it turned out great. Like, I, you know, I, I, I appreciated all the builds. You know, they all brought their own sense of, like, what happened, you know? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, definitely. Like, Cleo's looks like it was, you know, quite a while after and it's, you know, completely overgrown and... Yeah. yeah, it's it was it was a lot of fun. Um, like I said, I do plan to do another something later on. So if you're interested in doing it again, it's going to be different. So it's not going to be, you know, the same thing. But I do want to right. have another kind of contest. But yeah, absolutely, man. I'm 100 percent down for it. It was a great time building this thing. And yeah, uh, I absolutely have another appreciate one. you taking the time to play along. <laughs> oh, for sure, dude. For sure, yeah. It was a blast. It was a blast. Thanks for holding this, dude. Appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, thanks for the uh, the winnings. I, I will. <laughs> I definitely needed these. I'm a little bit low on diamonds, <laughs> so appreciate it. All right, man. Have a good one. So there we have it, guys. A victory at the build-off, which is fantastic. I love it. We got ourselves some diamonds. We got ourselves some gold. Lots of good stuff in here. So thank you, XP, for putting this on, man. And, uh, yeah, I do appreciate the winnings. These will help us out quite a lot in paying the boomers uh, for their services, getting rid of those mountains. Um, so, yeah, that will hopefully happen maybe by next episode. That would be great. That would be great to see. Um, so, yeah, we got that. Uh, also, pyramid is complete. Also, we got something on top. It says, thanks for getting my stuff back. Uh, wizard backpacks are in here. So we actually helped Scar and save some of his stuff from the spawning. Oh, we got another crystal. Respawn magical crystal. Very good. Some wizard fruit. Anti-mob spawn, crystal lantern, 
Oh, a whole shulker box full of coal ore. Very nice. That's going to be useful as well. Oh, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We'll take that. Thank you, Scar. Appreciate it, my dude. And we'll break this. And we'll break this. And we'll break this. And once the smoke clears, maybe. There it goes. <laughs> Finally, we can look into it. And yeah, we should have this whole thing completed. So let's go ahead and fly around a little bit and then we'll drop into it. See what this thing looks like. I think I should probably put like a slab on top. In fact, you know what? Let's do that. Let's put a slab on top. Yeah, let's put a slab on top here and see what it looks like. Alright, slab has been acquired. Let's put it down. So there it is. Smooth sandstone slab right on top and the pyramid is now complete. So let's back off here a little bit. See what we can see. We get all the way out here and turn back. Yeah, look at that. Wow. That's a big pyramid. <laughs> that is why they call it the Great Pyramid. Not the OK Pyramid. Not the eh, it's OK Pyramid. It's the Great Pyramid. Nice. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. That is absolutely enormous. Let's just fly around it a little bit. See it from every angle. Produces some very odd effects a little bit on there. Yeah, see it's sort of all the banding and stuff. Looks a little wild. And it's kind of hard to tell like how close you actually are to it. Okay, we're pretty close now. There it is. All right. <laughs> so yeah, it, it is a little bit of an optical illusion. It's so big. But that gives you sort of a sense of the scale of this project. So that is pretty ni pretty nifty. Pretty nifty. Um, so, let's go ahead and boost into the pyramid itself. I want to see what it looks like from the inside. So we will fly on in here. Can we make it? Oh, almost. Almost perfect. Uh, but yeah, look at this. Wait until that final chunk loads over there. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. What a sight. A sight to behold, <laughs> basically. Um, so, yeah. This is what it's looking like on the inside of the pyramid. Uh, what's good is it looks like most of the visual effects went away on the inside here. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, you're just left with like this, this tri-star thing. If you look straight up in the middle. Which honestly looks pretty cool. And remember how I said that there was a lot of visual effects with the pyramid? Well, check this out. There is actually a pyramid inside the pyramid. So like this right here, you can see it's like another pyramid right there. And you can fly toward that big hologram of a pyramid, and then it, yeah, once you get close to it, it sort of vanishes once you get sort of to the midpoint of the, uh, the area here. Um, and then I guess if we get over here, it'll probably come back. Yeah, there it is again. Hologram of the pyramid right there. Booyah. <laughs> That's sweet. That's sweet. So, with that, guys, I'm going to declare pyramid complete, and yeah. Some mighty interesting things uh, we could do inside this pyramid. I don't really know what I'm going to do. Uh, I don't have any plans uh, on what to do. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. But for now, the pyramid is done. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the build process in this pyramid. Uh, but for now, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Be sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks once again for watching, guys. This has been Cub. Goodbye. <laughs>